Yo, what's going on guys? Rafael here. Haven't really done a YouTube video in something like eight months. So first of all, sorry for that. But today is a special day. Uh, if you've been following me on Instagram, you might have already seen my sponsor reveal or let's say my first bike sponsor reveal, which is Extension Bicycles. Super proud. And today I thought I'd take the opportunity to get back into the YouTube grind and do a bike check video for you guys. So if you have any questions regarding the parts or the setup that I'm running here, uh, just feel free to drop a comment below and I'll do my absolute best to get back to you. Let's jump right into it. All right, let's start off with the frame, which is the Extension Adventure in this beautiful yellow color. Um, now, obviously this is their carbon frame. So in comparison to my old bike, it's like two kilograms less, which is definitely noticeable while riding. One thing I really like about this frame is the geometry, as it's one of the shortest bikes out there, which makes it super playful. Now, for someone like me, you might think that having a short bike isn't really that ideal because I'm pretty tall. Let's just put it like that. But I'm trying to compensate for that with the stem and the handlebar. But we'll get to that in a second. For the rims, I'm running the Life Bicycle AM431 carbon rims. Now, as far as I know, they are the only manufacturers who produce 24 inch carbon rims. So yeah, I've been running them for many years, have never had any problems with them so i thought i'd put them on the bike again now for the tires i'm running the continental air king denim mccaskill 2.4 tires uh, which are pretty standard in the street trials world i'd say now the front wheel as well as the back wheel are laced up to industry 9 hydro hubs which are pretty cool uh, in combination with sapim spokes and black brass nipples now just a quick note i'm running an inspired insert in the back wheel but only in the back wheel just so i can save a little bit of weight and i must admit the insert in the back wheel is a pretty big game changer for me because now i don't have to worry about getting a puncher when i'm you know smashing my back wheel into stairs or any edges which is uh, yeah pretty cool now for the cockpit i'm running the trial tech 90 by 35 stem which is pretty standard i'd say uh, in combination with the extension 6c gen 2 eps carbon handlebar now for the grips i thought i'd try something completely new this time uh, so i went with the dmr death grips um, if you've been watching my past bike check videos you know that i've always been using odi grips and uh, yeah till now i like them a lot Right now, brake wise, I'm running exactly the same that I had on my last bike, which is the Magura MT Trail Brake. Now, usually when you buy MT Trail Brakes, you get a two piston in the front and a four piston in the back. Or wait, is it the other way around? I'm not really sure. But as I wanted to have the most power possible, I thought I'd get myself a four piston for the back as well. And of course, I'm running it in a combination with 203 rotors. Now for a little bit of an upgrade, I got myself the HC3 levers, as well as these 45 degree adapters, which I mainly got because I wanted to learn bar spins like a year ago. I never did. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I might have to get into that. Now for the cranks, I've got a little bit of an eye catcher, which are the Cane Creek Ewings cranks in the 170 millimeter version. Now they're super stiff. I had them on three bikes already and have never had any problems with it. But one downside with these cranks is that they are super slippery in the wet. So what I did is I put a little bit of grip tape on top just so when I'm catching foot jam whips or crank flips or something similar, I just don't slip off that easily. Now, one thing that's worth noting with these cranks is that they're not compatible with a regular SRAM dub bottom bracket. So what I've got on here is a Cane Creek Hellbender bottom bracket. Now attached to the cranks, I've got Crank Brothers Stem 7 pedals. These are the Danny McCaskill edition. And if you know me, I've been using Crank Brothers pedals for a long time. And honestly, I just got used to them. So I thought I'd keep them on this bike as well. Now for the chain, I thought I'd stick with the same model I had on my previous bikes which is the kmc z1 ehx in the narrow edition and the reason why i'm using the narrow edition is basically just because it works best with the rear sprocket as well as the chain tensioner which is the extension alter now even though this chain tensioner was not really built specifically for the avenger it works perfectly fine and i must admit i have really high hopes for this chain tensioner as i've been having yeah quite a lot of troubles with these things in the past but yeah the spring is super long on this one so i hope it's gonna hold up and of course to protect the chain i've got the extension integrated bash guard as well which has 22 tooth and uh, 16 in the back in case you're wondering what that ratio is. Now here's a little story about the seat that I'm running on here which is the inspired tripod seat. I've had this bike on my arcade then on the sky then on my first carbon bike then on the foreplay and now on this bike so it's five bikes now and um, yeah I feel a little bit bad because I asked the guys at extension to specifically send me a saddle for this bike and I put it on and I just Honestly, I didn't like it. I'm just gonna be honest, sorry guys. Um, but I thought um, it's such a legendary piece somehow. So I thought I'd just put it back on here and I just think it looks super sweet. So yeah, decided to stick with it. Now I'm not really sure if I mentioned it in the beginning, but both wheels are tubeless obviously. And the whole thing weighs around 9.4 kilos, somewhere around that, which is definitely on the lighter side when it comes to street trials bikes, especially for me coming from an alloy background. So yeah, super noticeable, but like it a lot. I think I mentioned everything. Uh, if you have questions about anything, on this bike just drop a comment below and i'll do my best to get back to you as i said in the beginning and also i'm going to put a list uh, with all the parts in the video description for you uh, in case you want to get something for yourself and also be sure to follow me on instagram in case you want to see me ride this beast and there's some interesting projects coming up in the near future as well so yeah thanks for watching and i'll catch you soon cheers